What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Eshi and today I'm going to be giving you a six month update on my laser hair removal burn horror story. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I will leave a link to my video right here that explains what happened to me in October of 2021. To give you a quick recap, I was going in for full body laser hair removal treatments. I had just been to Florida for a wedding the week before this specific treatment and no one at the clinic had told me not to get any sort of tan, to tell them if I got a tan. They had very poor procedures in place. They continued on with my laser hair treatments without asking me any questions and and I ended up getting severely burnt from this laser treatment. And trigger warning before I post these pictures because I will be showing you in just a second what it looked like when I first got burnt all over my arms, my neck, and my lower face. All right, so here are some of the pictures from when this newly happened to me last year. And again, don't forget to go watch that video because I really go into details about how this place uh, really, really messed up, didn't treat me well after it happened, and how they just handled the entire procedure completely incorrectly. And really what the warning signs are and what you should look out for if you are a person of a darker skin color and darker hair and what the pitfalls could be in your laser hair removal treatments. So now to give you a six month month update on how my recovery has been going. Keep in mind, the dermatologists have all told me that it could take me a year, a year and a half, up to two years to fully recover, and this is just six months in. And honestly, I think I've been healing really, really well. Obviously, as you can see, I'm wearing a short sleeved shirt, and I doubt that you can tell that there's anything too wrong with my skin right? And that is a huge positive update in my recovery journey. Anyone in real life probably couldn't really tell either unless they looked really, really closely. If you do look really closely, you can see still different patches of different pigmented skin because what the laser treatments really did was it burnt off the pigment in my skin. So the areas where I was burnt, it is actually lighter than my actual skin color. And to be honest, I also ended up growing out all of my arm hair and because I have darker arm hair, I feel like it helps hide the patches in my skin. So positive for arm hair, yay. Now I've been putting on sunscreen pretty regularly as the dermatologist told me to do and I've been covering up my skin pretty well. I've also been using this lotion that the dermatologist recommended to me that's supposed to help in, you know, skin recovery. So I've been using that pretty often too. Even if I'm not going outside, I try and put it on sunscreen every day or at least every other day because I live in San Diego now and I live in a very bright apartment. So I want to make sure that I maintain that so that I can give my skin all it needs to fully recover. And actually we did go on a quick day trip to LA a couple weeks ago and I didn't cover up my skin while we were there. I was actually wearing like a short sleeved shirt and honestly, I can see how it affected my skin. I'm paying for it now because the patches where I got burnt, they are significantly lighter than where I actually ended up tanning on that day trip to LA. So the patches are a little bit more pronounced on my skin right now than it was before that. So it's definitely a good warning for me, especially with summer coming up in San Diego, I need to continue to cover up my skin whenever possible wear a crap ton of sunscreen like a crazy person, continue doing it even more so in the summer. Now I'm going to show you a couple more close-up pictures of what my skin looks like now, just so you can see exactly what the difference has been in six months. Now I know a lot of people have asked if I had pursued legal action with this place because of the number of things that they did wrong in my situation. And to be honest, I did reach out to a lot of different law firms to see what the procedure would be, how likely would it be for me to you know, get something in return, and at the end of the day, I just felt like it was going to take a very long time for me to even start a process like this. And obviously time equals money that I would be spending on these lawyers. So at the end of the day, I just figured that any money, any compensation I would get from a potential lawsuit just 
wouldn't be worth it for me and I decided to not go that route. I did get a full refund for my full body laser hair treatment and honestly that was probably the least that they could do but there is that. They also did end up paying for the first round of dermatology visits and treatments. I did end up going to more dermatologist visits and getting more lotions and you know treatments for my skin and I probably should have asked them to pay for that, but I didn't. And honestly, a day-to-day -day update right now, it, it still does affect me every single day. I have to think about when my skin is in the sun. I do have to use sunscreen very regularly and before this, I honestly didn't use sunscreen very regularly at all. I am darker skinned and I've never had any issues with the sun before this, so I really never put on sunscreen unless we were going to the beach. And now it is a part of my everyday routine. I have to think about my skin every single day. I have to think about what I am wearing and I'm sure it's gonna get even more tough in the summertime in sunny San Diego. And again, if you are curious to see where I actually had this done, this was back in Michigan. So feel free to DM me on Instagram and I would definitely tell you where this was done because I do not recommend this place. They do not have enough uh, procedures set in place to make sure that people are safe before, during, and after their laser hair treatments. So definitely reach out to me. I will absolutely let you know. And that's pretty much it. That is my six month update of my laser hair treatment burns. Please don't forget to hit that like button if this was informative at all to you. And don't forget to subscribe because I do a ton of DIYs, interior designs, financial videos and I really appreciate you guys tuning in today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you later.